The role of the Court of Protection is to make decisions on behalf of those who lack mental capacity. Capacity is time and issue specific, so a person might have capacity to say, marry, but not, for example, to make a will. The test is set out in Section 3 of the Mental Capacity Act 2005. The Court of Protection's jurisdiction covers decisions relating to the property and financial affairs and health and welfare of people who lack capacity to make those decisions for themselves. As such, without any matters affecting such a person's affairs, it's possible to make an application to the Court of Protection. Where an attorney or a deputy either proposes to take steps or has taken steps which go beyond the remit of their authority as set out in a power of attorney or deputyship order, it's possible to make an application either for prospective or retrospective approval of any such action under the Mental Capacity Act 2005. Depending on the nature of the application, the court may require notice to be served on any relevant parties, including family members, and may also require a capacity assessment. Likewise, it's also possible for anyone else to make an application to the Court of Protection if there are concerns about the management of a person's health and welfare or property and financial affairs. Examples of applications which are often made to the Court of Protection include authority to take or defend legal proceedings, permission to sell a property, authority to make gifts, for instance, for inheritance tax planning purposes, applications to remove attorneys and deputies, and to make a will on behalf of someone who lacks capacity.